Hi, I'm Linda Birch. I'm from the Northern Panhandle of West Virginia, and I'm going to enter my taco dip in the Real Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese Contest with Paula Dean. The first thing you're going to need is a pound of ground beef that you're going to brown in a large skillet with a medium chopped onion. And you want to have your heat on medium high. And you really only want about a pound of meat. If you're going to use the, the ground beef, you're going to have to drain it. And if you use ground round, you won't need to. You could use ground turkey. And I'm going to season this with just a pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper, a little dash of garlic powder, optional. And I like to stir this around a good bit, get the meat diced up in nice small chunks, and it needs to go about eight minutes on medium high. So this is really browning up nicely, and I've drained some of the grease off as it cooked, and I've kind of chopped it up so the meat's real nice and fine. And I just have a few seconds to go. So it's cooked on about medium-high for eight minutes. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of water. There's my time for the eight minutes. I'm adding a half a cup of water. I'm going to turn this down now, simmer, and a half a cup taco sauce, and I'm going to add my package of reduced sodium taco seasoning. I'm going to stir all this up, mix it around nice, and preheat my oven. And while my oven's preheating, this will cook for the additional five minutes. I'm also going to get my cream cheese ready in my baking dish. It's right over here. Now I'm going to put my Philly cream cheese, third less fat, in the bottom of a glass two-quart baking dish. And I find that it's easiest to spread it across the bottom with the back of a spoon. Out nicely. Use the back of my spoon and just spread this around the entire bottom of the dish. My sons and their friends really like this. It just goes very quickly with um, young guys with big appetites. My meat's still cooking for the additional five to six minutes while my oven's preheating to 350 degrees. And I'm going to spread this out. You can chop up some green onions and have that ready. And get your tortilla chips that you like in your serving bowl. That looks good. And as soon as the sauce is done, in about another three minutes, I'll pour it over the top and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay, this is simmered an additional five minutes while my oven's been preheating and I'm ready to take my meat sauce and pour it over the cream cheese that I have spread in the bottom of my two-quart dish. I'm just going to pour it right over the top and spread it around a little. Then I'm going to add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese across the top. The really nice thing about this recipe too is you can spice it up by using um, a hot seasoning instead of a mild or a hot taco sauce instead of mild. So this is ready to go in the oven uncovered for 20 minutes on 350 degrees. Okay, this is just finished cooking for about 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven. It's very hot. It's actually bubbling around the edges. And everything was pre-cooked, but it just needs that time in there for everything to mix together well. My family likes 
the green onions on top. I put that as an option in my recipe. So I sprinkle the top with three or four green onions. You might want to wait a few minutes just to let it cool down a bit. You can spoon some out here. Serve with your favorite tortilla chips. I have to try it. like it just as much as my boys like it and I'm really looking forward to the upcoming weeks and sharing with all the amazing cooks that um, are online for the Real Women contest and I would love to meet everybody in Savannah, Georgia to be in the finalist round. Thanks and see you next time.